Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this real disturbing news story. This story is coming from our second favorite state, Trifling Ass, Texas. So what's going down in Trifling, Texas, you ask? What's going down is that we have this dusty hotel Hebrew-Israelite couple, and basically the mother, her name is Cherry Payton, and she's been arrested for marrying off her 14-year-old daughter to a 47-year-old man, and his name is Stephen Hardy, okay, so what basically happened is that this young girl, she's 14 years old right now. Um, she ended up going to the doctor, she wasn't feeling too well, and so the doctor was asking her if she was sexually active, and she ended up admitting that she was, and she said that she's only sexually active with her husband. And the doctor was like, Huh? What? What do you mean, your husband? You're 14 years old. And she was like, Yeah, I'm married. My husband is Steve Cardi, you know, the man who brought me here to the doctor's office. And when they put two and two together, they're like, no, that's a grown man who's damn near 50. So at that point in time, they ended up calling the police and she was placed into child protective services and come to find out the mother got her married out when she was 13 and she has been sexually active with this grown ass man since the age of 13. This entire situation is just re damn dickless and just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Another shocking case, the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office says a 47-year-old man convinced a girl three times younger than him that they were married. Not only that, the Sheriff's Office tells us the girl's own mother knew about it. Eyewitness News reporter Deborah Wrigley live now. And Deborah, this is just so upsetting and clearly disturbing. It is art. There is no marriage license on file in Fort Bend County for this alleged union. But now there are two people in jail accused of a crime. The suspect and if the marriage were legal, which is it is not, it would also in jail would be his mother in law. Stephen Carty is 47 years old, more than three times the age of the person who believes she's his wife. The story revealed earlier this month when she went to see a doctor. She was questioned and asked by doctors, and she admitted that she was married. And that she had been married since she was 13, which is not allowed under any Texas law, even with the consent of a parent and a judge. Now, Cardi is charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child. The child's mother, 39-year-old Cherry Jamila Payton, accused of child endangerment through parental negligence. She, her daughter, and Cardi, according to the detective, all shared the same home. She knew that uh, these two individuals were sexually active with each other, so we felt that the charge for endangering a child did fit. But now this, the detective says the defendants told her the marriage was part of their cultural belief system. They belong to the Hebrew Israelites, so they are biblical people and they follow the laws of the Bible. But among those we spoke to in Fort Bend County, there was a lot of skepticism about that. If it's truly a belief system well, or it's just convenient to now exactly. we have this story and so. It's a fabricated belief system right, based absolutely. on the need and convenience. Cardi's bond is set at $100,000, the girl's mother at $10,000. But again, they remain in jail. The girl herself is under CPS supervision. Live at 5 in Fort Bend County, Deborah Brickley, 13 Eyewitness News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And I love how she's trying to say that this is part of their religion. Folks need to realize that all that sovereign shit does not count in the real world. You squatting in somebody's house talking about because your forefathers lived on that land so you own this mansion, that shit ain't cutting it. And especially not no bullshit like this. This has nothing to do with their religion. This has nothing to do with their belief system. This is nothing but perversion. They're using religion in a perverted manner, okay? This young lady's innocence was stolen from her because two twisted ass adults had nothing else better to do than to sit there and plot on her virginity under the guise of a religion. You know, this is just some bullshit and this is some weak minded nonsense. And for the mother to be okay with this and to marry off her 13 year old daughter to this grown ass man says a lot. And I would not be shocked if they were all sleeping together, to be honest with you, because a lot of these people believe in polygamy and having all types of wives. You know, so the whole situation is crazy. I would not doubt if this woman was also involved sexually with this grown ass man. This ain't nothing more than a mother who pimped out her daughter to a pedophile in the name of religion. You know, this entire situation 
situation is sick. And it's sad that a lot of young girls go through this where the mothers will pimp them out to older guys or where the mothers will let older guys have their way with their daughters, you know, to keep a man around. You know, the whole situation is just sickening. This poor child is going to need all types of counseling and she's going to have to realize that the way that she's being raised is wrong. This is not normal. At 13, 14, you should be focusing on books and school, not being a wife and wifely duties and all that to a 47 year old man. This man is not only old enough to be her father, he's old enough to be her damn grandfather. I mean, this entire case is just sickening. I feel so bad for her. Texas, lock this cuckoo ass couple up and throw away the key. Trying to use damn religion in the name of filth. That's some bullshit. And I know some Hebrew Israelites, and they're not a reflection of all Hebrew Israelites. I want to make that clear. You have a lot of Hebrew Israelites who do follow the Bible, but they don't turn into some type of perversion, okay? So you do have some good Hebrew Israelites out there, so I do want to say that. But you have a lot of folks who are using, you know, the sovereignty and, you know, these different religions and different conscious sects. They're using that to twist things and manipulate things in their favor. And I just find the whole situation to be bullshit. I feel really bad for this girl and for the mother not to protect her daughter, for the mother to marry off her child is just disgusting to me. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire trifling ass situation. Once again, come up from our second favorite state trifling ass Texas. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that way whenever I post a new story, you'll be notified right away. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.